the smell of coffee overwhelms you as soon as you walk through the door. To founder and owner Danny O'Neill, it's the smell of success. We always want it to be the best. Always, always, always. And not just the best at making and bagging coffee, but the best at being a leader in the community. Danny's love of coffee started while on a foreign exchange trip. I went coffee picking with my friends. And I kind of fell in love with the, with the farmers, with the whole process. Back home, Danny wanted to do more than make a great cup of coffee. To start with, he wanted the growers to receive a fair price. They can take better care of their, their farm workers. They can take better care of their plants knowing that there's a market for their coffee. He wanted customers to buy. If somebody didn't use our coffee, we never ever wanted the reason to be quality. We wanted it to be price or something else, but never, never quality. And he wanted to build a business that gave back to the community. Maybe 10 times bigger. O'Neill grew up in Iowa. You just did all these kinds of things because it was common sense that you do them. And just like on the farm, the coffee business took long days and hard work. And sometimes we refer to some portions as the dark, the dark time because truthfully, I was ready to sell product for like three, three months before I actually sold one single pound of coffee. Today, the roastery boasts two cafes and imports hand-picked coffee beans from 31 countries. Besides their employees, Danny is most proud of their business model. This aisle is called the Green Mile. It symbolizes the company's eco-friendly focus. It just makes common sense, intuitive sense. Um, it makes economic sense. From his basement in Brookside to the plant on 27th Street in KC, the roastery is another reason we're proud to call it home. Lisa Benson, NBC Action News.